Hello everyone, I'm here, and I'm just going to give you a quick little note. This does not mean Engines of FAC is coming back. I got a question about it from Mr. Chicken on my community post about this episode and new series. Uh, I'm probably not going to do Engines of FAC for quite a while. If I do, the next episode will probably be uh, the EAS 44C4 or the SD70 M-2. Thank you for your time and listening, and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. The SD75 M slash SD75 Eyes. They were built by EMD between 1994 and 1996, with a total of 280 being produced. That's not a lot compared to another loud locomotive series. Ugh, I'm looking at you, GE. With a total of 280 produced, again. And 76 of them were SD-75 M's, and 204 it being SD seventy five eyes. Their wheel configuration was a C dash C and they had sixteen cylinders. Their prime mover was an AMD sixteen dash seven ten dash G three. Eh yeah, that's a mouthful. Their transmission was a diesel electric. Their performance stats or their power output was 4,300 horsepower. That's a lot. Their operators were Burlington Northern and Santa Fe or BNSF. Gee. Yeah. And their numbers, well, their numbers range from 200 to 275. And sometimes renumbered from 82 that a uh, hundred sorry to eight thousand two hundred and seventy five and s also acquired a few and s and cn yeah with 51 going to Atchison Topeka and Santa Fe Railway Company and 25 going to the BNSF or for the SD seventy five M. Yeah, so basically SD seventy five M's are specific to Santa Fe and BNSF. Very specific. The SD seventy five operators. <sighs> BNSF Railway had a quantity of twenty six SD seventy fives. Canadian National has 173 ho oh, ho oh, oh, god and the Ontario North had a quantity of five and uh one little uh thing was um the Ontario Northland Railway number unit number uh, 2100 was wrecked in uh, 2012 and was tired. Yeah. That's a bit sad. Okay, now let's go on to the thing. Okay, the series was a response to the Dash 9s. And they increased their prime mover engine to a 4,000 horsepower engine to a 4,300 horsepower engine. That's 300 more horsepower. It's a lot. The M was the model designation for its style of cap. It was a North American cap. Which I don't know what the difference. Uh, I guess the difference is more horsepower and different cab from any other engine. And the IMA and the SD75Is had insulated cabs, hence the I, or they're sometimes called the whisper cabs, which reduces a lot of noise in the cab. Yeah, that might, 
That that might be just it, it's probably really loud, I imagine. And the SD5M models weren't as popular as the SD70 Max, which the SD70 Max are pretty much everywhere by this point. Um, the biggest buyer for these locomotives was the ATSF or Santa Fe, which became Burlington Northern Santa Fe or BNSF. And yeah, these locomotives are not very like they're not very special. They're just your typical North American freight locomotive. But we all get a kick out of seeing them, don't we? I mean, they're different in a few ways. Norfolk Southern eventually bought seven in 2014. And, well, I'd say I haven't heard anything about these locomotives. I mean, I don't think there's a ton of information on those locomotives. Uh, but, yeah. The history of the SD-75M slash I's is very short-lived, and there are not many out in the system, but they're certainly a little different, and I like different. The extra horsepower was probably unnecessary. I don't know, I feel like something in that 5 is missing. Something in that SD-75, it, that 5 is just missing something. I can just feel it. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching the first episode of Engines of Santa Fe. Hopefully you'll come back for another episode. Um, I kind of work hard to make these videos. Um, I'm sorry if there's a lack of videos. Bye. But uh, I don't want to, I don't want to have this video drag on forever so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video